Now, this is my favorite aircraft, and unfortunately, not because of these guys. It is the Sport Cruiser. Actually, you want the guys back, don't you? Come, come back in here for a moment. Sorry, sorry. I know it. Come on, come on. Come back in here. Look, come on, come on, come on. Look, look, look. You want a combination of excitement and aviation on this show, right? Okay, so we've got the Sport Cruiser here. We've got these wonderful ladies who are representing Czech Sport Aircraft as well. But I suppose we had better talk about the aviation, haven't we? So once again, guys, I'm afraid, could you split apart just so that we can have a look at this wonderful aircraft? The Sport Cruiser, you know I like this one. I've talked about it before. We did that review down in Kuna Vita not that long ago as well. And... Um, I want to introduce now Martin, who's standing just outside of the shop, giggling away. Martin, it's a real pleasure to see you. Hey. Look, Hi. I've talked about this aircraft on the show before. We've reviewed it. I love it. Yeah, now, you've too. just taken on this aircraft as well. You're really putting in a strong marketing drive now, aren't you? Right. Why do you love this aircraft so much that you bought the company? Well, um, I fly a bit special. I'm, um, pretty That's much a very different aircraft. It is, it is, but uh, for touring and uh, cruise speed, I choose uh, Sport Cruiser as my favorite aircraft. So it is very much about the touring experience for you? Oh, right, right, and if I would have a chance to basically get my training, flight training in a Sport Cruiser, I would love, love to, basically. If you compare this aircraft to uh, Cessna 152, I mean, there is there is a huge difference, a huge difference. Well, that's it. I mean, I've talked about the, the literage, the fuel usage per hour, the endurance and stuff like that yes. before. So we've already gone through all those sorts of statistics. So look, what I want from you is a passion. I mean, what is the enjoyment of flying a sport cruiser? Once you try to fly this aircraft, I mean, the, the, there is a very hard way to, to get to fly another aircraft because there is uh, no comparison, basically. This. Uh, Aircraft is really setting this industry standards, yeah. and I think it's got great future, and that's the reason why we actually uh, bought the company, and uh, we believe in the future, and uh, we are here to support this fantastic product. Yeah. One of the things that we were saying just before we went off mic is that sometimes you get in LSAs, and it feels like you've got a solid sort of metal frame around you, but it's almost like the air fry, uh, you know, the stuff around it, the panels are almost just glued on in a rather haphazard way. I like the fact that it feels so solid. Yes, I mean, we, we, we are manufacturing uh, and maintaining GA standards for our production, so uh, there is a really big difference between us and other foam and plastic uh, ultralights. So really, we are maintaining the highest uh, standard in the industry. Now, if people haven't seen our Sport Cruiser review yet, Rob, if you can follow us around here, we've got another one which is open already, and we've got um, the engine outside just tell me what engine are you using in this because there are there are a couple of choices aren't there right right but uh, the most preferable engine is uh, Rotax uh, standard Rotax uh, and uh, 100 horsepowers uh, there is also an option to to choose the Jabiru engines but uh, it's uh, primarily for countries uh, with higher elevation like uh, certain countries in the United States maybe in Brazil in Brazil the Jabiru engines are very popular but uh, uh, let's say 70 80 percent of the production goes with rotax engines i think it's a well-known brand as well isn't it people I mean, understand rotax standard, engines yeah. so yeah, exactly yeah and why don't we have a quick look inside again because okay. i mean by the nature of lsa's uh, martin do you want to go around that side <laughs> by the nature of lsa's you're never going to get you know the huge thick leather seats and all that kind of thing because you've got to think about the weight so Actually, this is this is beautiful compared to the one I went up in. Actually, I love this. Yeah, I mean, we have we have uh, improved the interior and the upholstery a lot. So uh, I mean, really top standard. If you compare this cockpit to uh, Cessnas or old Pipers, I mean, big huge difference, and uh, you really feel comfortable now. Uh, sitting in this uh, lovely white cockpit and uh, flying uh, up-to-date, state-of-the-art uh, avionics. Yeah. Well, one of the things I actually found, actually, was that uh, it's yeah, it's still not that thick, the cushion, but, well, I mean, it's... The, the aircraft over there is for United States in leather. Uh, this one is for Iran, so they wanted to, to get an uh, upholster like this, so we are here to serve our clients, so upholstery is style room if you want. That's a really interesting point, Martin. Iran. I mean, we've, we've actually got viewers in Iran, yes. and I was quite surprised at that. What kind of a market is it like? Uh, uh, the, the market in, in Iran is uh, rapidly growing. A uh, few uh, manufacturers realize that and are trying to sell those aircraft there. 
and uh, we are actually one of the best uh, manufacturers there and most successful because uh, uh, there are about four big schools and all of them choose the Sport Cruiser as their primary training aircraft. Martin, it's a real pleasure talking to you. Thanks very much. Thank you.